So you guys need to stop doing this. You are not a doctor. Dr. Sarno only accepted patients who believed already that their pain could be psychological. So when his treatments worked on them, he had already self-selected for people who knew they didn't have structural, mechanical, or chemical problems. He initially called his diagnosis TMS, tension myositis syndrome. Myositis, myo is muscle, and it was tension, muscle tension. So he was initially only talking about illnesses caused by chronic muscle tension. And those things, although still not proven by actual medical science, uh, does make sense. It was only in his later books that he changed it to myoneural and started this disturbing and destructive pattern of blaming all chronic anything on TMS and basically saying that the body at all times can heal from all things that haven't been ruled out as physiological. Um, which we know is not true. We know for a fact it's not true. We know for a fact that medical science does not know everything there is to know yet about the human body. Every day we're discovering new illnesses and new chemical toxicities and new problems in the environment and new things about the differences between the sexes and the way hormones affect disease. So that's the umbrella of medical science as a whole. Individual doctors also make mistakes and have biases, and that's been well documented. There was just an article in the New York Times last year that's very famous in this community about how very little clitoral anatomy has even been documented, much less included in medical textbooks. There are multiple books just as actually more scientifically researched and backed than Dr. Sarno's books, which have really no medical science backing them, proving that women's pain is not taken seriously, that it is more likely to be misdiagnosed and dismissed as psychosomatic. That women's illnesses, like the diagnoses that are primarily given to females, people, and women, are typically uh, underfunded. They're not given as much money for research. And I've shown that a million times on this channel, okay, like three, but that the research for even our anatomy if you compare anatomical um, homologs, there's like a tenth of the research on our uh, female anatomy as there is to male anatomy. So how can a doctor effectively rule out physiological root causes when the infrastructure for doing that doesn't exist? And when we have documented sociological uh, biases against people presenting as women, and we have um, also documented biases against people of color, and I'm sure there's other medical biases against people of other demographics that are systemic. I mean, I could give a thousand reasons why this is terrible advice. I could make it an hour long video telling you how I've read Healing Back Pain and Howard Shubner's uh, book, Unlearn Your Pain, and I've done the Curable app, and I've read Alan Gordon's The Way Out, and I've watched you know, 50 hours of Dan Bulio's Pain for You, and I've done weeks of Nicole Sachs' journal speak, and I've spent countless hours meditating and doing mindfulness-based stress reduction. I did a course. I went to a three-week mind-body chronic pain camp where they told me like everything, including the physiological things that have happened to me, like a year of chronic yeast, that the pain from that was also in my head because yeast infections don't really cause pain, which is just literally a lie. When you guys pushing this TMS BS are having to resort to lying to women, I was told that keratin pearls don't cause pain, that adhesions of tissue don't cause pain. I was told endometriosis doesn't cause pain. And all of this was by a doctor of osteopathy, not even an MD and certainly not a gynecologist and certainly not a vulvovaginal specialist who seem to be the only people that are qualified to even kind of talk about the issues that I'm having. Last of all, if you're watching this far, here's a picture macro zoom zoomed in. If you want to flag this video, fine. This is that redness, that line you can see, that is messed up tissue from an excessive stretch and crush injury to this highly innervated tissue. I had physiological findings showing damaged tissue that have been there for three years. Here's the current situation. This is like 50 times zoomed in. You can see on the left hand, that is not that is pain-free tissue. This is pain-free tissue. That's pain-free tissue. What you see right here, this redness, that inside of this line here, that feels like the burning of a thousand suns. That is tissue that was damaged. Now, it is not my fault 
that there is no information on this part of the body. There's literally 11 articles in a medical journal database on this part of the body. The procedure, the stretch and crush injury during which this injury happened, no doctors that I've talked to, not even FGM specialists, trans surgeon set specialists, have, they've not even heard of this procedure that injured me. I've had to go to a, a, an activist, a clitoral anatomy activist, to even find images of my anatomy that show the part of my body that were injured. That's how very little is known and cared about in medicine, about this part of the body. Sure, person who watched 10 seconds of my video, tell me again how this is all in my head.